have very high memory and CPU usage on Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. Whether it's a laptop or a desktop, whenever you try to play games, the 100% disk usage, CPU usage and the RAM is there. If this is the case, learn how to fix high memory usage and CPU usage. So we will be doing very easy steps to fix this problem and we are not going to install any software. We will be only troubleshooting and fixing this problem. So here, do a right click in the start icon and click on run. And type services.ms. Once you have typed it, click on OK. Once you do that, a new window will appear like this. And here we are looking for two services. I mean, that's a one service, but in your case, you might have a super fetch or sysmain. Both the services are same. So you can look for super fetch. And if you do not find super fetch, then look for sysmain. So I have found it and you can see that it is disabled. So you also need to disable it. Just do a right click, click on stop and then go to properties. And here the startup type should be disabled. Now this is the services which makes the random application which we use uh, frequently. It makes it available for us. And this is why the usage of CPU, RAM, disk gets, you know, very high. So if you disable this service, it won't make any changes and you won't have any issues. So you can disable it. Since the beginning, I'm using, I'm not using this service and my computer works absolutely fine. If you want to see, I'll just do a right click and I'll go to task manager and just see the performance. Currently I'm using, uh, you know, the screen recording is going on. Still the CPU usage, memory and disk is absolutely fine. You can see that. Right. So here, once it is done, close this window and do a right click again and go to run. Now here, we need to type this dm.cpl. Once you have typed it, click on OK. Now here, you have this computer name, hardware, advanced, system protection and remote. So here we need to go to this advanced tab and under advanced, we have this performance, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage and virtual memory. So we need to click on settings. And the moment you do that, you will see a window like this where you have this uh, visual effects. Uh, let the windows choose what's best for your computer and select adjust for best performance. Once you do that, just need to click on apply and OK, and this will be done. Once this is done, you can simply click on OK and we will move to the next step. So here, I'll just do a right click again and then go to task manager. Now under the task manager, go to startup tab. I'll just maximize that. Now here, please uh, make sure you do the exact thing. Please do not disable graphics, audio, Wi-Fi, security sort of thing. Just look which all applications can be disabled at the startup. So you can use it later whenever you want to open it. However, it will not turn on automatically when you turn on the computer. So as you can see, I have very few services at the startup, which is essential and rest of the applications are disabled. So you can also do that. This will drastically lower the usage, the RAM usage, the disk usage, as well as the CPU usage. This is a very effective step. And if you have uh, not done that, please do that. It will definitely boost up the performance. Then close this window. And the next thing you need to open the file explorer. I'll just maximize it. And I'll go to this PC. Now, most of us forget that we should also have enough space in our computer. So if you're playing games or if you are doing video editing or sound editing, like if you're doing any important stuff which requires a lot of memory, a lot of CPU usage, 
please make sure that you at least have 50 GB space, 25 to 50 GB space in your computer. So you can see I have 97 GB free and uh, you can also look for, you know, documents, pictures, downloads, just free up the space because more higher the space you have, it is, it will be used as a virtual memory, as a cache memory. So please ensure that it should not be here at the red. It should be the green or blue. Once this is done, close this window. And there is one more thing which you need to do is to update the windows. And for that, you just need to click on search icon and type windows. And here you will find windows update settings and check for updates. You can also create a power plan. So type power in the search window and you will find choose a power plan, edit a power plan. So I'll click on choose a power plan or change plan settings and from here you can select the computer in high performance or at least keep it balanced all right so if you do not see high performance or ultimate performance what i would recommend to select and create a new power plan so once you create a new power plan if you get a high performance or ultimate performance you can select that in this manner your whole computer will be used to give good performance instead of visuals. So this will be very helpful and also remove the cache from your computer. For that, do a right click and go to run and type clean MGR and click on OK. And this will, up, this will open up the disk cleanup utility for Windows C. You can select all because these are all cache and temporary files. Uh, the junk files you can see I have only 25 MB but in your case it can be in GBs 25 GB 30 GB like that so you can get rid of all those chunks and make your computer faster and if even if you're facing high disk high CPU or high RAM usage this will fix this problem once this is done do a right click again and click on run and this time type temp once you have typed it, click on OK. And here, just select all and you can press Shift Delete. So you can delete all these junks. It is not required. And once you remove it, the computer will be absolutely junk free and it will run faster. Once this is done, again, open the run window and type percentage temp percentage and click on OK. And this is also another location of junk where, where you can select all and you can press shift delete and you can hit enter. So I had almost one GB of junk. Some of the files will remain and it will not get be it will not be deleted. That is absolutely fine. You don't have to worry about it. Keep those as, as it is. I mean, you can skip that and just close it. Once this is done, you just need to ensure that you restart the computer. Many of us forget to restart the computer and it is a very important process to do so. All right. So you can also do that once you restart the computer, see the performance of your computer. And the last part which we need to do is to run the scanner, the Windows Defender Windows Security Scanner. So here at the bottom right corner where you have this shield icon, you just need to open that and under virus and threat protection click on that and here you will find many options like current threats or quick scan scan options so you need to click on scan options and select a full scan check all files and running programs on your hard disk this scan could take longer than one hour so this is a very good practice to do i would recommend you to do the scan every month because it will not only remove the viruses malwares or any bad files are there it will also ensure that you don't have any anything which conflicts with the computer so once you select full scan you just need to click on scan now so once you do that this might take some time and you can leave as it is you can also minimize it if you want to do your work just let it scan 
and keep doing your work so that's not a problem all right so once this is done again a restart is a mandate and see the difference in your computer you can let me know how's the performance how's the usage just go to i mean just do a right click in the start icon and go to task manager and go to the performance tab see the cpu usage memory usage disk usage and let me know how was the performance now and how it was earlier if this tutorial has helped you please hit the like and subscribe and please leave a comment i'll be waiting for you guys you have a wonderful day take care